I, I thought the reaction was great. I think there was a lot of love, and uh, uh, we were all saying that the, the, the overwhelming feeling is now that the show last last Comic Con the show hadn't aired, not everyone had seen it, so it was a little bit weird. But this year that we're, we were just saying that there feels like there's so much just goodwill and love and 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 support of the show. I think they were also asking the right questions coming into season two. After now reading the first five episodes for me, um, they were definitely asking the right questions, and it seems like we're all on the same page about what's going to happen, although they have no idea. They could never yeah. right, right, right. guess what's going to happen, yeah. but they're definitely asking the right questions, which is really exciting. What would you like to see happen with Kevin as the series progresses? You know, Roberto and I had uh, some wonderful talks during season, before season one, during season one, um, after season one. Uh, I think during season one we established Kevin as such a wonderful, bright character. He's so humorous and loyal and kind. Um, and just a, a wonderful friend, and I think something's been bubbling underneath that, and we definitely, uh, we definitely see that come out in the first few episodes of season two, especially dealing with a little bit of heartbreak, which happens at the end of season one. So I'm really excited to kind of dive into the darker side of Kevin. I'm really excited to kind of dive into his friendships, uh, dive into his family dynamic. Um, those are the big three things that I'm really excited that we're, we're definitely addressing right now. It's great. Uh, the third episode of season two is a very Kevin-centric episode, and it does exactly what Casey said, which is, you know, almost every other character we've got into the darkness, and in Kevin, you were all those things, and, and, and now we get to do it. And, and the actor who plays Kevin's father is a terrific actor named Martin Cummings, and he's wonderful, and we get to see them. We, we saw a couple of, one scene of them in season one, uh, uh, and we get to explore that some more, too. Kevin's dark side, are we going to lose Kevin? Going to find love? A true, real, real boyfriend that's not closeted or having an agenda? I, yeah, I hope so. I hope so. No, I think, listen, the relationships and romance are always going to be a big part of the show. And now that we have 22 episodes, we will get, get to do that. Uh, uh, you know, I will tease that, that, there's, that the story between Moose and Kevin is not finished. That's what I'll tease about that. I'll also say I think Kevin finds love, a very deep love that he's been needing in uh, a maybe different way than a romantic way. And it's a really beautiful way of showing love and compassion I think the character needs. Uh, that's really exciting to me. Are you guys going to have an episode that uh, diffuses more illness and afterlife version in the Halloween special moment? You know, I, I love horror stuff and I'm always trying to get horror imagery and themes in that. Uh, uh, we've talked a lot about it. You know, we start a pretty aggressive, uh, suspenseful noir storyline um, that has definite horror elements. It's not specific to afterlife, but it, it, it very much is a suspense kind of thing. Uh, so it's a different kind of uh, horror. There's, I think, also some psychological horror in, in, in this season. Um, uh, but no elements of afterlife so far, but we're only on episode five. How about uh, RG versus uh, some of the new characters coming in? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, we have a, well, we have, first of all, we have a new Reggie, which is really, really exciting. Uh, we have an actor, Charles Melton, who's taking over for Ross Butler. And already Charles has been in more, because we have he's available to us, he's been in every episode so far. Ross, because he was doing a couple of other shows, we only had him once every four episodes, and, and we never really got to tell a big Reggie story. That's one of the things we're gonna be able to do. Uh, we have Veronica's father, played by Mark Consuelos, who is wonderful. <laughs> and, and, and like, after... Both on and off set. Yeah, yeah, you've got them, like, you're like... We're buddies. Yeah, he's you're the, like having brunch with Kelly. Yeah, he's the coolest, <laughs> he's one of the coolest people I've ever met. Uh, but, but after, like, spending all of last, last year, I keep saying last semester, <laughs> last season, <laughs> hearing about Hiram and, like, trying to make stories for Veronica with Hiram not there, it's such a relief that, they, that he's in the world, and it's, and it's, it's it's, it's, it's really amazing. Uh, we also just started filming uh, a new character named Tony Topaz. She 
is from the comic books. She goes to Southside High with, with Jughead. Uh, uh, she's a part of the Serpents, which Jughead has just joined. And uh, a, a wonderful actress named Vanessa Morgan is playing her. And she auditioned uh, first year for, to be one of the kids. And she came really, really close. And I called her afterwards and I said, Vanessa, everyone is a huge fan of yours. We don't have a spot for you in season one, but we are going to get something for you in season two. And, you know, she, she put herself on tape. I was like, it's Vanessa. We got to do Vanessa. And uh, she texted me. She's like, I'm so happy to finally be on Riverdale. I was like, so are we. Okay, yeah. I need to wrap them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.